Rascals Felix Cavallari says it was a challenge to write with Eddie Brigatti. And Eddie was his main songwriting partner for the big hits. Here's Felix. The new book is Felix Cavallari, Memoir of a Rascal. There'll be links in the description of this video where you can pick it up. And if you want to see the long version of this video, you can see the entire thing via the link in the description of this video. Well, with you and Eddie, though, even let's just say even with Groovin', that even if that would have been the only song you you guys wrote together, you'd still be on those rock and roll cruises because uh, because people would love that song so much. Yeah, I was. I, I mean, you you're the furthest thing away from a one hit wonder, you guys. But I'm just going. People always give them hell. I'm going. What are you crazy? You know how many musicians don't, don't even get to record a song, let alone be on the radio or have a number one hit. Oh, um, yeah. But your 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 process with Eddie was uh, as far as writing. Was uh, was that challenging? Was that uh, was it as challenging as it was rewarding? Did you guys get into the, when you wrote together? Were you in sync? How, how did that work? Well, we we really didn't write together. You know what I mean? It was a long story. You know, but uh, you know, basically, uh, it, it's hard to explain somebody that likes to work and somebody that doesn't like to work. Mm. Because first of all, I don't call that work. I mean, that's, it's a joyful experience to sit down and write a song. You know, it's fun. That's why I moved to Nashville, Tennessee, you know, because I want to continue writing songs and uh, I don't ever want to stop. But if you look at that as a challenge, if you look at that as work, if you look at that as something that's not quite as easy flowing as, you know, then it's a challenge. So the simplest answer I can say is that it was a challenge. That's a really interesting way of putting it because it's interesting if you if you give a person the opportunity for a paradigm shift, and sometimes it's the it could be the hardest thing in the world of, of what you just said it. I mean, what you did you not get into the into music because you were doing it you were doing it for nothing at one point, right? You doing it for nothing for many points. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well. You know, you know, I mean, look, look at the difference between then and now. Again, the same title, then and now. Joe DiMaggio, if he made $100,000 a year, these guys make $100,000 a game. You know what I'm saying? It's a different planet. No, yeah. it wasn't for money. You know, I, I, I mean, seriously, uh, you know, uh, you, you say, how many people would like to do what, what I did or what we did? Are you kidding me? You got to count your blessings, man. You know, you got to count your blessings to say this. This is a joy from the first day you, you write a song and somebody likes it and it's number one. Come, whoa, wait a second. Stop. Yeah. It fills their cup. What the? Oh, let's complain about that. I, I see. Okay. Yeah. Why? What's to complain about? No, I loved every moment of it. And, you know, there's good moments and bad moments. But, you, you again, you come to the controlling human beings factor. We can't control human beings. You know, you have your quirks. And, and, and there's a lot of reasons for this, man. You know, like, uh, you can really get into interesting stories about families. You know, families can, wives, girlfriends. I mean, look at Beatles. Look at Beatles. Perfect Just, example. Perfect example. Look, look at get back and see who was doing what in the Beatles. That's all you got to do. <laughs> it's very simple. It's very simple. I mean, okay, we don't want to talk about it. No, let's talk about it. Remember, the new book from Felix Cavalieri is Memoir of a Rascal, available now. There'll be links in the description where you can pick it up. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. We'd appreciate that. Like them as well. We also like that. And share them in the appropriate groups on Facebook or Twitter or wherever you like. This is John Bowden. This is Rock History Book.